Wanted to cover the uh, 3D printed portion of our brass order. Um, this is the overall design of the uh, top grate, and it is uh, large enough or printed so it's large enough for these holes to allow the 22 LRs and the dirt to fall through. But um, the uh, spacing between these is critical. Uh, if you print them up properly, they will actually catch the 25 ACPs, which are quite valuable because they're rare. Uh, I've seen them um, cost as much as 25 cents a piece for those casings, um, depending on the supply and demand. But most people pick up that brass. So um, anyway, that was uh, I didn't really design it for that. It just came out that way. But anyway, the idea is to print up more than one of these um, grates. And when you put them together, if you line them up properly, um, you can purchase a uh, 5 16 threaded rod from Home Depot. It's the only place I could find them. But anyway, an uh, 8 foot piece of threaded rod will fit through that square hole there perfectly. I just found a square hole is easier to design and draw and to print rather than uh, a round hole. But, but anyway, you can um, print up and uh, put together as many of these uh, grates as you wish. And by putting that threaded rod through there, let's see if I can mimic that you can put those together like that and make a the grid as as large as you want oh uh i printed up these ridges so that the it help align those 22 lrs and the casings would fall through those holes but in practice um my dad's the one who did most of the sorting for us um, he actually found that he liked the smooth side of the 3D printed part because he says the uh, those ridges made it so that you, the casings wouldn't uh, pass along there as easy. But anyway, what I'm saying is he preferred the smooth side. Um, so anyway, uh, I found this uh, these 3D printed parts would are best printed with nylon excuse me when i printed them up with nylon they didn't stick to the bill plate nylon of course is very very strong but difficult to 3d print the uh, filament called abs which is lego plastic um, that wasn't strong enough and sometimes the uh, just everyday use of those would cause some some of these parts to fail right uh, in these uh, bar regions. The filament that I found was the best of both worlds, both strong and easy to print, was a filament called Raptor. And uh, that is a kind of a print and stay in place type plastic. And it's also very, very strong. Anyway, uh, that's the 3D printed part. And... Uh, hope I answered any questions that you may have. Um, let me know if you have any other further questions. Uh, this is Mark with Aardvark Reloading.com.